Welcome, or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to take a look to something that is called end behavior, end behavior of polynomials. Okay, so what do we mean by end behavior? We mean uh, what's happened with the f function when x is getting larger, which is the right side. And you're going to see we have some notation like this. x is getting larger, that's the mean. And x is getting smaller, left side. And you're going to see something like this. Also. So, first of all, let's take a look to some graphs. And the first graph I'm going to do it is the graph of y equals negative 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 8x plus 1. This is the graph. And if you notice now, this graph comes from top left, right? Very important, top left. We don't really care what's happening in the middle. And is going right down. So we call this one left up. Easy way, right? And this is right down. Very easy, right? In other words, the graph comes from comes from top left, right? And goes uh, right down. Okay, let's take a look to number two now. This one. And this one is the opposite, if you notice. Left, down. So it comes from down, from here, right? And it's going up here on the right. Right, up. And that type of behavior happens always when you have an odd degree. What do I mean by that? If you, we have a, another video clip where we talk about a degree of a polynomial, look at here. This is an odd degree. Both of them have a degree of 3, but it can be any other odd number, like 5, like 7, whatever you have in your mind. Go, you can try and you'll see you have only one of these two behaviors. The one on the left happens when the leading coefficient leading coefficient is negative. Yeah, this is negative 3 in this case. Any negative number is going to give you a behavior like that. Left, up, right down, if the degree is up. And obviously this one, if we take a look, this is a positive number, positive 3 in this case. So these are the two behaviors that goes over our function. Either something like this or something like that. Okay, left, up, right, down, if it's a negative leading coefficient. And right down, left down, right up, if it's a positive, right? So negative, positive. Remember this, and again, odd degree. Now, obviously, we do have cases where we're going to have a even degree, like in these two cases. And again, let's graph the first one. And what do you notice on this one? Left, down, right? Left, down. Okay. So this graph comes from left down, and it goes right down. This is the end behavior. What's happened when x is getting smaller, left, x is getting larger. And what about the second one? Let's take a look at the graph. This is the opposite, you notice, right? So, left up, and right up. So, again, let's, let's kind of summarize it. The degree was odd, right? Oh, uh, even, I'm sorry. Degree was even. Even degree. It was 4 in this case, but you can try a quadratic, right? Out of 2. A degree 6. And whatever degree you have in your mind that is an even number, you will see one of these two behavior. And this one, the leading coefficient, right? This is the second thing that you really need to be aware of. Leading coefficient. Right? This is the second thing that gives you the behavior, right? The leading coefficient in this case is negative. If it's a negative 
leading coefficient, you have this behavior. If it's a positive leading coefficient, you have this behavior. So we can summarize this uh, like uh, something like this, right? So this one is an even degree of a negative leading coefficient. And this one will be an even degree of a positive leading coefficient. So these are the four type of behavior you can have a polynomial function, nothing else. Now, what else we have here is a lot of notation. So we, we mentioned left up. Okay. Look at here, this is another way to say left up. You may see that notation in some books. Left down. This is another notation to see left down. And this guy here, very important. This is what we use in some other classes when we use the limit notation. So this one says limit when x approach negative infinity. So x is getting smaller of f of x is infinity. So this, you see how similar of this one is. This means left up. Okay. This guy here, you see how similar of this one is, right? Limit when x approach negative infinity uh, of f of x, this is negative infinity. This is left down. And obviously we have the other two choices, right? Right up right down of this notation. And then you notice that the limit notation are very similar to this, right? Very, very similar. Now let's, let's read them to be sure it makes more sense. Limit when x approach infinity of f of x equals infinity. This guy, right? That means right up. Limit when x approach infinity of f of x equals negative infinity. That means right there. So, on the next thing here, I'm going to use this limit notation. So here we see uh, left up. So that will be limit on x approach negative infinity. So, so again, left negative infinity of f of x equals infinity. This one write down. So limit when x approach infinity, right? Of f of x. So again, you go, you look for x uh, getting greater, you're going to put infinity equals negative infinity. Uh, why don't you try this one and let's see if we get something similar. If you have these two answers, limit when x approach negative infinity, so this uh, left side equals negative infinity, but the graph is going down. And here, limit when x approach infinity of f of x is infinity, because the graph goes up. And these are the last two cases. Uh, again, you may want to try. There you go, you have uh, the end behavior of the limit notation. For the first graph here, limit when x approach negative infinity, left, so left side of f of x equals negative infinity. Yeah, it's going down. This one, Li right side, right? Limit when x approach positive infinity, or just infinity, of f of x equals negative infinity. Right there. And for this graph, limit when x approach negative infinity of f of x equals infinity. Yeah. Uh -huh left up. Limit when x approach infinity here of f of x is infinity. Yes, right up.
If you enjoyed this video, click please click the like button down right and come back and see square for more more math video clips. Thank you.